I could explain how to write a song, you wouldn't be able to afford me <laughs> to, to talk to me. That is the question that everybody tries to answer. So much of songwriting is just a kind of grim determination just to face the blank page and, and start digging. I am a lineman for the county And I drive the main road Boy, it's time to leave you a preview So you too can review what we do 30 years in this business, how you sell soul Gee whiz, that's right, bear witness I get my songwriting ideas writing on the road. My car, my vehicle is the pen, and I look at the road, especially when it's black, as a pad. Come away with me in the night. Come away with me was my first summer in New York, and I was just laying on my bed. It was pretty, very late at night. And it just kind of came out of the blue, and it was over. Come away with me. There's not a moment that I don't have my faucet on. It's always on. I may not be paying attention to it, but it's always going. I, I can always come up with a melody. Not always good, but. I had some dreams, they were clouds in the What hit me was. Howdy, da 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 da. That set of notes. I really mean to learn. I knew it was how deep was your love, but I, that's all I had. It's me you need to show. How deep is your love? Is your love? Do you have to write songs? Is it a vital part of expression for you as a, as a person? That's a good question. I've never really looked at, looked at it in, in terms of, <clears throat> is it something I have to do? Do I have to make music? Yes. Or do I have to somehow, do I have to express through music? Yes. But we're never gonna survive unless we get a little crazy. I've never really wanted to write any song that I didn't feel or experience firsthand. I don't, I think people have got an incredible bullshit detector. And I think if you're gonna sit in that room and say I'm gonna write a hit today, I know some people do that for a living but I don't really want to do my work like that. A singer-songwriter isn't an actor. It's not even like a guy rock band. It's an individual who draws the people to them because of their music. It's a much more honest and much more difficult job because it is honest. I wasn't prepared to carry that burden. I just wasn't. Where's his jacket and his old blue jeans? This ain't healthy, this is some kind of clean. But I think that Chuck is in love. A lot of times, you know, you, you have nothing. But you have a, an urge, you know, and then you do something, you know, and that's how the best songs happen. You can't, I mean, to, from my experience, you don't write them down and then struggle with, oh, it should be this or that. It's like, it just sort of spurts out of you. And then you take it back and say, oh, well, hey, if it's good, then I did it on purpose. <laughs> you know? <laughs> do you? That you have the most beautiful face. You know, I still want to be a songwriter, even though I've been writing songs for the last 25 years or whatever, and, and being in a band and all that kind of thing. And people say to me, journalists or interviewers, you know, what drives you to keep doing it? It's like, because I still want to do it. You know, I still feel that the greatest song ever written is around the corner. So as 
down the south of France and I, I heard this melody of a French song called Comme d'habitude, which is a song of relationship to people, you know, very French. I took it home and I started just kind of working at the piano away from the theme of what the uh, record was like. And I kept sitting there going, now what would Frank say with this? And uh, it started to flow. It just started to flow as if he were sitting in the room with me. I did it my, my way. And that's the subconscious part of songwriting, really. It just comes from somewhere that you're unaware of, and that's kind of the magic part that keeps me going back every time. When everyone has lost their heads around us, you will find him, you'll find him next to me. Next to me. The song is about writing a song for someone but not wanting them to know who they are. So not having the nerve to say, this is your song. When I first made it and it was about to come out, I used to go out and play at the traffic lights really loud because even I didn't know what it was, you know what I mean? And I think I've made something. That's my main achievement. Before anyone had heard it, I thought, wow, I finally made something that I can't even describe. Artist comes over, we need one more song. What do we do? And I swear, I sat down and I went, okay, how about... And Peter was like, that's pretty good. I sort of wanted to give up alcohol, which I sort of have, sort of, you know, like, within reason. Uh, but I found that I couldn't write um, without it. I've sat in a pub for five hours with an alcohol free. Just <laughs> nothing. Came just trying, trying, trying. And she just said, go on, get up here. Got a beer. <laughs> Straight off. The whole place is pickled. The people are pickles for sure. And no one knows if they've done my head and they ever would do in a job. I just put the headphones on. I was on the bullet train. Going through the night from Tokyo to Osaka, and it was already one of my favorite things, as I say, and I played it, and I'd heard the way Bernard had finished it, and I, I just couldn't believe it. It sounded like it, I couldn't believe it was us. You're too expensive, go to Really, when you break it all down, it's all about the song, isn't it? And as long as you've got good, as long as you've got good songs, really, the rest of it doesn't really matter. 